What's up, card family? I hope everybody is doing great out there. This is a long overdue um, mail day pickup video. Been meaning to do it for a while. I wanted to do it with Blake, but I just we just have been so busy. We never have time to sit down and make videos together. Uh, I'm thinking this weekend we'll sit down and uh, make a couple of videos. I'm way behind on mail and uh, Kirby Puckett videos so i'm gonna try to to like pump out like good 10 videos this weekend and then uh post uh, post one every every day or every other day or whatever but anyways enough jibber jabber uh i did get one ttm in recently kind of a unique unique one it is danny lopez international boxing hall of famer nickname was little red so that's pretty cool be my second uh, boxing autograph very nice and then uh, I got a little mail day from uh, Dave Blue Jacket 66 and he included his business card which is really sweet so please check out uh, Dave if you haven't he has uh, one of the best uh, baseball card channels on all of YouTube but he sent me this uh, really cool Kent Herbeck autograph. So thanks a lot, Dave. It's awesome. Kent Herbeck, he is a Minnesota boy. Um, not only did he play for the Twins, he was born and raised in Minnesota. So that is super cool. And then I have picked up a couple of different Hall of Famer autographs. Picked up this one quite a while ago, but I just don't think I showed it on camera yet. Uh... Fourth quarter hits, Christian Cortez, uh, he posted this on our Facebook, one of the Facebook groups, and uh, I wasn't really ready to buy this card, but it was such a good deal that I I had to, so it was a sick, uh, I think it's 2016 Clear Vision, number 5 out of 10, great looking uh, Chris Carter autograph, so very happy to pick that up. I did add another addition to my baseball Hall of Fame autographs. I picked up this Allen and Ginter Mini Phil Necro, which I threw into this uh, tobacco mag, and it looks great. Really happy to add that. And I got a care package. Blake and I got a care package from a Mr. Brent Morrison, and uh, he uh, he watches our videos, but he does not make his own videos yet. I don't know if he has plans to. But uh, he is a Twins fan. He's not from Minnesota, but he uh, grew up in the same area that uh, Harmon Killebrew did. Um, his, I think he said that he had an uncle or something and actually played sports with Harmon Killebrew in high school. Um, and so that led him to be a Harmon Killebrew fan, which led him to be a Twins fan. I think he, he lives out in Washington now, but he's a Twins fan, so... Included this cool note, which I accidentally ripped when I was opening the envelope. Dustin and Blake, thanks so much for your YouTube channel and Facebook page and for helping me reconnect with the collecting community. Hope you can enjoy these cards. Win Twins, Brent Morrison. Fortunately, the Twins did not win in the playoffs. And uh, this note is awesome. Brent, I uh, thank you very much. Uh, anytime that um, we can affect somebody uh, on our channel is awesome so he included this uh, pack of 88 tops and a little short stack of uh, twins cards I believe they're minor league I already looked through everything so we got this cool twin sticker we got a Jose Barrio so some of them are minor league I'm pretty sure we don't have this Polanco I don't think we have this Rosario either and then some of the heritage minor league Wander Javier Another Wander Javier, so this must be a variation. Nope, it's a different number. One of them's number 140 and one of them's number 212. Oh, this is a short print. So this one says it right here. Short print. So that's super cool. Awesome. Uh, Bruiser Gratterall, he did get called up this year. Guy can throw in the triple digits. Got a Blaine Inlow. Akil Badu, 
And Royce Lewis. I guess Royce is tearing it up in the Arizona Fall League and was actually the MVP of the Fall Stars game. So that's awesome. And Alex Kirilov in his Cedar Rapids Colonels uniform. All right. And then he included this, which is awesome. I love this. And I can't wait to put this top card in a mag. But this is the 1985 7-Eleven uh, Twins team set. And this top card is uh, Kirby. It's going to hit the Kirby counter. And also, um, it's I guess you could consider it his rookie card. So it's 1985. It is a rookie card. So let's see what uh, the rest of these cards look like. Get this open. And, uh, yeah, I just, I love this card. Like I said, it's going straight to Mag to get it out. Maybe, if I can get it out. And uh, he actually sent me a picture of this card. He's like, hey, have you seen this card before? And I said, yeah, I, I, I need to get it. I didn't realize that he was going to send it to me, along with the rest of the team set. So we got Frank Viola. Mickey Hatcher, Kent Herbeck, John Butcher, Roy Smalley, Tom Brunanski, Ron Davis, Gary Gaetti, Tim Tuffle, and Mike Smithson, and Tim Laudner. So that's awesome. So thank you so much. Brent, let's crack open this pack of 88 and see what we get. Okay. Got one of these spring fevers. We got a Carney Lansford, Felix Furming, Charlie Curfield, Don Carmen, Scott Bankhead, Tim Flannery, Cal Daniels, Joey Cora, Ed Lynch, Ellis Burks, Johnny Grubb. Willie Upshaw, Lynn Cicada, and Chuck Krim. So no twins in there, but that's okay. Hold on a second. All right, the dog was barking. So anyways, in honor of Brent, I wanted to show some Harmon Killebrew pickups. First, all, first off, I got this, uh, what is this, uh, 64? Bob Ellison and Harmon Killebrew Twin Terrors card. It's pretty sweet. Pretty nice card. I definitely don't have enough uh, Bob Ellison. And then this next lot I got on Brockleman Auctions. Uh, Dustin Bellinger, shout out to him for um, tipping me off to this little lot. And this is a lot of team photos. I don't know... If anybody can tell me an idea of what years they were printed in, who printed them, I don't know what the publisher was, uh, but they are really nice cards. They're approximately four by five. So well, my dog was having a fit. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, if anybody can tell me what any of these, what years I'm, the auction said 60s to 80s, but I'm pretty sure these are probably 70s to 90s. So here's another Harmon Killebrew. And these autographs are facsimile autographs. They're not real autographs. You got a Jim Cott. You got a Rod Carew. Steve Braun, Steve Bry, or Bree, I'm not sure the pronunciation on that. Bobby Darwin here. Jim Holt. Charlie Lee. Charlie Manuel. George Mitterwalt, another George Mitterwalt, 
Jim Nettles. And the reason why I know that they were, that some of these were from the 90s, 90s is because Junior Ortiz only played for the Twins in 90 and 91. So, and for some reason, this is the only one without a facsimile autograph. So, once they quit doing that, we got a Jim Perry. Great pitcher. Frank Quilici. Quilici? I don't know. I'm too young to remember him. <laughs> Rich Reese. Eric Soderholm. Tom Tashinsky. That's a nice one. Cesar Tovar. He's a great ball player. Here's another Caesar Tovar. Here's another Eric Soderholm. Here is a Danny Thompson. Another Danny Thompson. And a Stan Williams. So like I said, they're all uh they're all blank backed. Um so there's no, there's no there's no copyright or anything listed on them, so it's not really possible for me to tell what year they are. But if anybody has an idea, you know, I, I assume they made these for multiple years, you know, so it wouldn't be, you know, like a 1970. It would be like a 70 through 74 or something like that. But if anybody can tell me, I'd love to <clears throat> love to get an idea of when these were made. But. They are very nice looking cards or photographs, whatever you want to call it. So I was glad to pick them up. So <clears throat> thanks so much, Brent, for the awesome care package and for uh, the kind words. And all, thank you also to Dave for sending that Kent Herbeck. I hope everybody has a great day, and uh, I'll see you later.